In today's video, we're going to find out what, if anything, happens to a magneto when it's exposed directly to water. We've taken the magneto cover off the bike and planned out a 26 and a half mile trip. This was done during a thunderstorm, where it was raining the entire trip. Of course, we even hit it with the garden hose because science. If that wasn't enough, we make the trip a little more interesting by making this 100% motor power. That's simply because I somehow damaged the crank on this bike and I really can't figure out how I did it. I just know I got off the bike one day, and I couldn't pedal it anymore. So we went ahead and took the chain off. You might see me pedaling from time to time while I'm on the side of the road. That's just for legality reasons. From time to time I get posts on my videos, especially with the trail bikes that go through muddy, wet situations, that people believe my magneto will fry if I don't seal it up. Some people express their concerns and outright surprise that my motors have lasted as long as they have. We've all read the post on Facebook and forum groups about how some people have had their magnetos fry and short out due to water getting into the cover, and how important it is to seal the cover. Well, I'm here to show you and prove in this video that that's simply not the case. Of course, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that water is good for your motor. However, in the short term, it really doesn't have much of an effect on the magneto. Now, getting into long-term effects, you will run into corrosion and rust if you don't take care of the problem. Say you were to dunk your motor in a river or a pond, you want to go ahead and drain this cover out and make sure everything dries off. The heat of the motor will usually dry it for you if you just remove the cover right away. It is a little ironic that the cheap, low-voltage magnetos are more resistant to water than the high-performance ones which produce more current. We'll explain why. In this video we're using a stock magneto that came with the cheap China doll motor, just as it came from the factory with no modifications. To understand why a low-voltage magneto is inherently water-resistant, you need to understand the components used to construct them. It turns out they're pretty much identical to brushless motors, just constructed slightly different, but all the materials are the same. You have a spinning magnet in close proximity to a stainless steel stator with a coil copper wire wrapped around it. Now this wire is insulated with a very thin amount of insulation. It turns out the main failure point of a magneto is this insulation. If the coil heats up or the insulation is just of poor quality, it can break down and short out the coil. If the coil shorts out, then you won't produce enough, if any, electricity to run a spark. So now that we understand the simplicity of a magneto, there's really only two concerns we have that they might fail. The long-term effect, which is corrosion. You just want to make sure water doesn't sit in this compartment and cause things to rust. And our second concern is the breakdown of the insulation caused by overheating due to short circuit. Well, with the low voltage systems, the stock systems, there's simply not enough current produced to overheat the coil from water in the compartment. Water can act as a conductor, but it's not a very good conductor. If you were to short the magneto to the frame with a piece of metal, though, it's a different story. That could certainly cause some overheating issues. So does water have any immediate negative effects on a magneto? Yes, absolutely. There's quite a significant performance hit. As you know from previous videos when we tried to get a charging system to work on the stock magneto, the amount of current these produce is incredibly limited and the motor pretty much sucks it all up. 
any reduction in current flowing to the spark will cause a noticeable drop in motor performance. So to summarize our testing guys, it's highly unlikely that water damage is what destroys your magneto. Now long term effects from long standing water like I mentioned could cause corrosion, that's a different story. But it's more likely if you have a magneto fail it's just due to the cheap quality. Vibration and heat from the motor is usually what's going to damage these and they could go at any time whether you live in a desert or a rainforest. You would literally have to fill the entire compartment with water just to notice a performance hit, let alone short out the coil. But also keep in mind, as I mentioned, I'm just testing the stock low voltage magnetos. Okay guys, the rest of the video is going to be the highlights from our trip, and some of which we got slammed with lightning and rain. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Well, I am completely soaked. There is nothing on me that's still dry. <laughs> the bike's pretty wet. This can be the longest trip I've ever taken on a single tank of gas. Hopefully we'll have enough gas to get home. Tank is looking pretty good. We're well over half a tank and I would say that we're just under half of the way home. If we go this way, let's do it. Hopefully the road stays good. I never would have noticed this if I was driving or probably even riding my motorcycle because uh, it's going faster and you really got to concentrate.
I gotta see what it looks like. Two thousand fourteen. It's the last we got on the calendar. All right, let's get out of here. You know, it was uh, December. It was the last month on that calendar. It was a Christmas ball. getting dark time to get home oh it's raining hard now too <laughs> it is really coming down <laughs> It's really coming down and that lightning is everywhere so we're gonna wait till this dies down a little bit before we get back on the road
I was gonna throw the tarp on the bike, but I mean at this point does it even really matter? Guys look it doesn't even look like it's wet, right? Well, that's because the engine's hot Apparently any water that might get in here for the most part would just evaporate but it still might get trapped in there because there's a there's a gasket that goes around this but yeah that that's dry to the bone me on the other hand oh. <laughs> if I can get these damn glasses back on I'm a little bit wet very wet 